Okay, we're gonna go over the trilobite today. And so this looks very much like, this is a model of a trilobite. Uh, and so trilobites are extinct, but we have tons of their fossil evidence. And so let's go over the parts of the trilobite first. And so uh, these specimens show tra tagmatization, meaning that we have a definite head. So this part here is the head and then the thorax and then this little part here is the tail. Uh, individually, we can look at some of the structures on here. This bump right here is known as the gabella. On each side, the kind of the cheek region, if you will, is called the librigena. And it's hard to tell on this particular model, but this part right here is the eye, and here's the other eye on this side. Okay, so each of these parts are the eye. Another feature of the head is that it might come down into what's called a genal spine. The length of the spine and the presence of the spine varies greatly amongst different species. Then there is this central lobe down the middle, and then the pleural lobes are all this part on either side to here, and again, that's the tail. Uh, this is just a model of a trilobite. We have some trilobites in our collection. They're not amazing, but you know what? Any trilobite that you find is kind of cool. So let's focus in on these guys real quick. Zoom in rather, focus. Okay, so these are actually pretty cool. Look at this guy. So I can't see a lot about it, right? On this particular specimen, uh, and this is in a piece of shale, look how, you know, it's rock and I can see that it's definitely a trilobite. And I can see the central lobe here and the pleural lobes here on either side, but the head is missing. I have this other interesting specimen and, you know, I don't really have it great magnified, but it does appear that this would be an eye right here and an eye right there. And that part right there would be the glabella and I don't really see much in the ways of any kind of genial spines and labringia is very reduced. Maybe it's curled around, I don't know. Okay, but we do have a couple of specimens that look like that. These were all collected, I believe out in uh, Wyoming, but look how just, they're just really neat, uh, interesting little pieces. And so this is probably the largest trilobite, but we can't see the lobes very well. Maybe it's just an impression Maybe the animal uh, popped off and this happens to be just what it left behind. I'm not sure. Okay, this is a thicker piece of shale as we can see. And so very interesting. So this is subphylum trilobita and you do need to know the different parts of it.